So I'm uh, very excited. The sustainability it's uh, it's a crucial term, not because it's it's a very nice term to be used here and there politically or economically at the conferences. I mean, the meaning of sustainability is crucial for the world world because the world that we are facing is a, is a world that is going to change very fast. Um, I do think that we will not be heading for the next industrial revolution, the fourth, and after a while for the five, fifth, and after a while for the sixth. We are entering an, an area where we will have revolutions every day. But not literally, but at the end of the day. So we are entering a, a time when we'll have our evolutions. R with a capital R, which means rapid, and evolution with capital E. So an era of rapid evolution, sustainability becomes very important not only in politics. I think sustainability is not only about the economy, but our life, but it's also about politics. But let's leave that aside. The sustainability of our life in this 21st century, 22nd century, becomes crucial. So I'm very happy to be here. And I want to use also this opportunity to thank His Highness, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed, for, for this uh, invitation. I really enjoy being here. I'm meeting very interesting people. I think uh, conferences and events like this are very important, not only for, for United Arab Emirates, for the whole Middle East, for the region, but I think globally. I will encourage and I'll be very happy to participate in the future ones. At the end of the day, I think it's very exciting to see that the Middle East generally and the Persian Gulf itself have grasped the idea of the importance of sustainability and starting from uh, using energy from the, uh, renewable sources, although they have huge resources of natural resources of oil and gas, but understanding that one day at the end of the day this will be finished. And the whole concept of celebrating the, the day when the oil will be finished as an idea is a great idea because you have to be ready for the future challenges and the future challenges are not very far because the world changes so fast, fast and at the end of the day using energy and not only energy but optimizing your cities, losing less energy, losing less of your natural resources, basically optimizing not only the management of natural resources but also our lives and supporting the good quality of life in a world that will be, uh, be lasting not another 100 years or 200, but centuries and centuries. Very important, both for Middle East and the, to the world. And what are uh, you in Armenia doing to drive changes in this area and embrace this area? Well, <laughs> we, are the, we were recognized by economists uh, last year, 2018, as the uh, number one country that has shown to the world a change. In fact, it's, it's a fascinating story. I was inaugurated as a president on the 9th of April. In two weeks time, we had a revolution in Armenia and we had to change the government and the prime minister. And in fact, I, I arrived yesterday and I arrived after uh, the first day or that our new parliament has started working. I had to open and congratulate the, the new members of the parliament and appointed the new prime minister. He, and, and immediately rush here. So here you can see how important is sustainability for Armenia when the president, after the opening of the parliament and after appointing the, the new prime minister, came here to this international conference. It really matters. Armenia doesn't have oil or gas, but it's very rich in renewable energy sources, being that sun, be that the wind, be that the hydro and others. In our future, although we have nuclear energy in Armenia, but that the future of Armenia should be green. And we have to learn. Uh, United Arab Emirates and the Gulf states, they are not rich in water at all, but they are learning and they have learned a lot of how to manage is very important natural resource, which is water. Armenia is very rich in spring water, natural water, but it doesn't mean that we're managing it well. So I think amazingly, a country which is rich in water has to come and learn also from the country which is, has a scarcity in water, how to manage water, because we have to manage our water and our natural resources properly, and we have to run our business, be that the cities, the management, the energy, in a new, very optimized, very organized way. 
So to create not only sustainability in natural resources or energy resources, but to create a sustainable life. Sustainable life because this planet is too small. It cannot afford a huge number of population and it can afford it only if we all agree that we have to manage optimally whatever we have on this planet. And at the end of the day, it's true. The amount of energy, solar energy, that approaches the Earth is around 2,000 times more than we, the whole globe is using per day or per year now. So we have huge resources of energy, and what we need is huge resources of ideas and brain and management. Okay, one last question. Do you feel, uh, you know, that this is a topic that now is bringing people together to find solutions cross-country and cross-border? Yeah, I think it's, it's, it's a topic that will is and will be bringing more and more people together. Even in my speech yesterday at the Armenian Parliament, I spoke about the sustainability for a country like Armenia, the importance of sustainability. And of course, we have to share experiences. That's why I'm here. I was at the Mazda city, I'm at the conference, I will speak at the conference tomorrow. I'm learning as well, I'm learning a lot. And that's one of the reasons that I'm here, not only to be at the conference, not only to speak, to share my experience of life, but also to learn from others and to, to, uh, to create or to find contacts that will, can help us to make our life and economy more sustainable. focusing on the future skills of the next generations, okay. belonging to the uh, water. Which are, which are? Let's uh, look at This is exactly what, where I want to be helping. We have five minutes video. There. Meg uh, we took uh, 50 reports. We merged them together to come up with five minutes video. Let's go and watch it. Prepare yourself for an experience that will take you on a journey to explore the future of skills and trends and sustainability. But tech evolution has now become so rapid that the job market has been left playing catch-up. Global forces are shaping the future of the workplace, the rise of moral responsibility, changes in business and the economy, all defining the skills employees need to succeed. Are we ready for the future these forces are driving us toward? The United Arab Emirates is forward-thinking with a clear vision for the next 50 years. A vision that maps out initiatives and investment across industry, from AI and space technology, very different from that which we live in today. As innovation empowers sustainable growth in more and more industries, sustainability sectors offering increasing career opportunities and the chance to thrive in that will create countless new job opportunities. We you help reshape the world by 2030. Intelligent robots powered by evolving AI and driverless cars offering door-to-door -door travel will become standard. Drone technology will be a part of everyday life, the relentless demand of the world's logistical capabilities. Not only on land, but across our oceans and skies as well. And discover the universe. Are you ready for the future? With your passion and talent, we will build our vision of tomorrow. Open the event app, navigate to the future skills quiz. Do you understand what it means? So our, our future is or depends on the sum of all future ingredients that should be sustainable. As you should say, so it's a function. Okay. Thank you so much. And I'll sign it for you. Yes.
خمسة It's about making buildings greener and smarter with the minimum retrofit. Instead of having cooling or heating empty rooms, we have a cloud system that uh, tracks where so people are. Basically, it's a manager. Yes, yes, it's a management layer. But you cannot do work with that with my grandson. He's so quick. For example, in uh, the uh, urban valley, it's an alternative yeah. source of protein. It's uh, a fuel, but uh, made what is from that? So you are coming to Armenia, no? With I him. really want to, yes. It's, I have so many Ara Armenian is responsible. Yeah, okay. Take I, me to Armenia. <laughs> and I'll give you a couple of nice ideas what to do yes, in please. space. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Let me know. No, I'm not joking. No, I'm serious, yeah. For absolutely. many years I used to work with big companies really? like Alice and others. Yeah, I would I would love to, to be honest. What's